Hey guys, welcome to the Biracial Brothers Podcast. I'm your co-host, Chris Davis. I just want to take a moment to recognize any new or first-time viewer to the channel. Thank you so much for checking us out. It Thank really you. does mean the world to us. Uh, and for our loyal returning viewers and listeners, you guys are awesome. Awesome. But you already know that. Yes. Uh, be sure to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any new episodes or content that we're putting out. Also, to be sure to hit us up on Facebook and Instagram at the Biracial Brothers Podcast. And finally, there are some listener support links down in the descriptions. So with that out of the way, this is my A1, day one, Lee Davis. What up, Lee? Oh, it's another great one, bro. Man, really good. Having yeah, a good yeah. day, man. We are. Yeah, I feel all the Rona is out of my body. I never <laughs> had the Rona, but like all the the crud is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed. I've been sleeping until like 10 a.m. <laughs> hey, Damn near. Like Get I'll wake in, up. Bro. I'll wake up at like six and I'll dick around on YouTube for a little while and then I'll no. just sleep again. I love a good long holiday, man. No. <laughs> need these all the time, brother. God, I just feel so much better and refreshed. I don't know. I highly recommend it. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I highly recommend it. So today we wanted to talk about embracing constant change. The concept of shit changes anyways yeah it's going to <laughs> the only thing constant about life is change yeah the only constant in life is change so embracing that change to um to make the most out of life yeah because if 2020 has taught us anything is very that much so from any point in time your life can go from good to great or great to bad or to shit to shit <laughs> to awesome to like it can do a complete 180 basically but your attitude will dictate a lot of how, how it maneuvers you might have a change come that you didn't anticipate and that you didn't really want but if you took it and you know massaged it a certain way man it could be the greatest blessing of your life so yeah uh for christians you know there's a saying that all things work together for good uh, for those that are called according to his purpose. So uh, uh, another way of saying that for you, you know, if you're uh, atheist or you're agnostic is like worldly, th worldly things work out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Things generally have a trajectory towards being all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not going to be, you know, every day is not going to be rainbows and sunshine, but no. like your, your constant every day shouldn't be. No, because if you get had sunshine all the time, you'd be complaining about how the sun's always out and it's hot outside. And man, yeah. people in know. California or uh, L.A. are like, oh, man, it's kind of weird. And, like it's never. Yeah. Or and then when a storm does come, they're freaking the hell out because damn, it ain't raining in six months. Yeah, they don't know what yeah. to they, to do. Us uh, southerners, a uh, snowstorm hits and everybody's fucking sliding into each other. Yeah, you know, they can't drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but like, you're gonna have bad days in life, but. Typically, I would assume the overall trajectory of your life isn't, oh, every day sucks. Like, no, hopefully you're not you, designing your life in a way that every day sucks. You shouldn't have an attitude that every day sucks. Yeah, today might not be what you wanted, but you will, if you dig for it, you'll mine the good out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like even though without those, like, s those huge swings, it kind of goes back to, like, uh, and I can't remember this. I can't remember. It's like the universal law of uh, momentum or something. It's like a pendulum where your life kind of goes back and forth. We're talking about it like with perpetual motion. Yeah, it, it's kind of like, uh, and I'll I'll have to put it up and Google it. But um, where basically your life is over here and rhythm, the universal principle of rhythm. You go over yeah. here. You go over here. Where if you can get your your life to kind of in the middle. Yeah. Then that's when you're, you're really winning. cooking with pinot oil. So typically, uh, life deals with the changes in your life are aren't always going to be extreme. A lot of times it's subtle. Like, yeah, one day changes, another day something else changes. Then you Six get, months from now, it's, it's like just, oh. it's different. Yeah, your life whole is life is like completely different. Um, so I really think it's important, and that's why I wanted to talk about this concept of embracing it. Yeah embracing the constant change because just as well as it could be bad coming your way man you could reap just as much good mm -hmm. from that change it's like what can you get out of it what can you turn it into you know no i think that you should embrace change i've always been a person that man and i told a boss this like 
10, 15 years ago that I hate change. You know what I'm saying? And I do, because once you get comfortable with it, and I'm like everybody else, once you get comfortable with it, it's like, man, now, you know, life is good. But if change comes, you got to be able to handle it and deal with it emotionally, for you know, physically, whatever it is. That way you, you're you ready for every change that comes. You know what I'm saying? If you if you and your partner always go through life acting like y'all ain't going to get older and ain't nobody going to die, then for one, you're going to probably end up taking them for granted. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're never going to really tell them how you feel because you always think that this person's going to be there. And then one day, you know, they get hit by a bus or, you know, whatever. And then they're not there no more. Well, how are you going to embrace that change? And that's an extreme version of what we're talking about. But that's yeah, it's you something know. you have to be yeah, you got to be prepared of. for. Yeah, you got to be prepared for. Um, I always like to live with the idea of like death in the back of my mind. It's like I'm gonna die soon. That's why I like to do different things. I like to experience as much as possible. Um, Plus the whole Tim McGraw live like you're dying. Live song, like I you're mean. dying. Good song, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> we should do a reaction to that. We'll do. One. <laughs> um, but so like I, I've always heard, you know, the world is full of infinite possibilities. Yeah. You know, if it's like Henry Ford says, whether you believe you can or you believe you cannot, either yeah. way, you're right. Yeah. So you might as do. well go and be strategic about, okay, what can I do to en- enact change in my life? Yeah. Like have a goal. That's why like, I think vision boards are so powerful. Um, to because I made a vision board about this uh, podcast, and I had it up to like a hundred subscribers. And like every ten, I mark off the day when we hit it. Yeah. And now I had to add more because we're as of this taping at one hundred twenty nine. That's blessings. It's um, it, you're visualizing. It's it's kind of like the law of attraction, um, but a little bit more not as woo woo well it may be i don't know it's but you're you're visualizing it because i think the the fake 90s version of the law of attraction is you know you just you picture it in your brain and then it comes to you like yeah, that's you bullshit. gotta put it in work man exactly like faith without works is dead so yeah. if you're just sitting there hoping and chain praying that it's gonna come that's not how life works at all yeah you ain't putting no effort into it yeah yeah like I could put on my vision board about this podcast, and I'm gonna have a hundred subscribers. But if I never record an episode, it's gonna be pr- fucking hard. You'd probably to- <laughs> use a better space for your board. Yeah, <laughs> put a calendar up. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could put a, a calendar up. Yeah, put a pin up on there. <laughs> yeah, I mean. um, so being strategic about constant change and then like leveraging ways, I think, uh, is really interesting to like. What is your desired outcome for whatever season you're in? Yeah. And then sometimes you're going to hit the mark and sometimes you aren't, but at least you're taking chances and taking steps towards like making something a reality. I've told my kids, man, that, you know, instead of telling yourself that you can't believe that you can, if another person's done it, you can achieve it. Yeah. And if you don't, and if you quote unquote fail at whatever you tried, but there is a awesomeness in knowing that you tried. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? I gave it my best shot, whether it fails or I have a saying, whether it's failure, uh, what is it? Is it winning or failure? It's mine, you know, or favor or failure. It's mine. You know what I'm saying? So whether I win at it or whether I lose at it, that was my round in the boxing ring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I don't, uh, I don't win or lose. I win and learn. Yeah, because if you take everything where you quote unquote failed and you learn from it, then you're just setting yourself up for for success later on down the road with it. Yeah. Say if, you know, um, this whole podcast has been a learning curve, you know, Uh, we didn't come out of the gate with, you know, as lighting as good as we are. Now, we don't, I'm not saying we're professional grade by any means, but like if you go back and you look at the first episode, which you should, you should check out those first episodes. They're pretty good stuff. Watch them all the time. Watch them. Yeah. Check them out. (laughs) And then like you can see the evolution of where we're at now. And now I'm interested to see where we'll be next year because we're always in this constant flux of Yeah, we're open to it. We're open to whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I always am amazed where people can't, they seem to like, they can't wrap their mind around Christians that believe in evolution. Well, God is always about a new thing. Yeah, he's constantly created all this. Yeah. You you can't put old wine in a new wine skin. No. Because you'll break it. You'll bust it because it expands, it changes. It's not meant to hold that new. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> we used to have a song called that. Yeah, yeah, back in our <laughs> rapping days. <laughs> you can't put new wine in. Oh, I thought about it. Yeah, that's a good yeah, song. That is a good song. Yeah, but you can't. Like, you, there's a there's a lesson in that. And see, yeah. everything works out for good because that song we made is now relevant in this exact moment. Yeah, something else <laughs> we created. Yeah, it's all, it's not a wasted thing. Make sure you're, nah. whatever you're doing, as long as you're out there trying and you're doing something, don't think of it as being a wasted effort because it's always it can always tie around. Yeah, everything does come back around. Yeah, and sometimes it'll amaze you how it will. It's like, man, I yes. didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, I mean, just with the podcast, I've had people come tell me that, you know what I'm saying, it's helped them with this or it helped them with that or they took this from it. It's like, well, I mean, hell, <laughs> that's great because, I mean, that's, that's a reward for doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know why we do it, but, I mean, that's an awesome thing that – I didn't expect, you know what I'm saying? Somebody actually took it to heart, and you know what I'm saying? I hope you take all this to heart, and you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not up here just, you know, selling yeah. your shit. I well, mean, some of it's silly. Some of well, our yeah. episodes are silly. But at the same time, <laughs> there's a lot of truth in the silliness. Well, yeah, every, every joke has a lot of tr- <laughs> truth in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you never know what, what little bit of knowledge you pick up along the way is going to help you in your next version of yourself, you know? Yeah. Um, because we're, like I say, you're always changing. You're always going through a new season, um, you know, saying there's a season for spring, there's a season for fall, there's a season for winter. Like, there's a reason that yes. different seasons in your life are these things. So don't be so, like, oh, the good old days. Yeah, don't be so cut off to what could possibly be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You're stuck on what has been. Well, you don't. You have no idea what could be, and it could be just the greatest version of whatever. I mean, yeah, it could suck too. But it, if your attitude is it's going to suck, well, you're probably right. Because I mean, it's going to be whatever you can envision it being. Yeah, like if you the people who uh, who are probably like the greatest horse riders in the 1800s or 1700s. Man, this guy's a great fucking horse rider. He can. Ride that horse I'm like a mug. Sure he fell off that motherfucker many a time. Well, he probably didn't really much care for cars when they came around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like cars are disrupting technology. Yeah. Like, damn. Or like a newspaper. You know what I'm saying? The internet came and then nobody has really much use for newspapers anymore. No. You can embrace it and have a growing th- th- thing like, you know, Yahoo or. Uh, oh, you Wall can Street still Journal. expect your newspaper to show up, and then eventually that whole stream dry up, and then you're stuck there like, what well, hell? Yeah. You ain't got no news now. Yeah. So eventually you got to go. You have to go with the flow, man. You got to you gotta embrace it. But my thing is, is I think what I would want anybody who's listening to this is be strategic about what you're doing with your day-to-day life so that – you are putting yourself in a better position to enjoy your future self. Yeah. You know, that, that saying, um, you know, the number one rule for success that I always like to use is do the, in, in any given moment, do the emotionally difficult thing. Yeah. Now that sounds hard. Not in that time, it can be. It's very, I mean, the whole point of it is do the emotionally difficult thing. It's difficult to do things, but, if you do the hard thing now, you're you're setting Everything yourself else. up later. Everything else is down for here. a smoother sailing. Like I'd rather work a little harder now than you know, saying be a lazy fuck today yes. and now tomorrow I'm fat and I'm old, old, old my shit, bones hurt, right. I can't move. Or if I just like if every day I wake up and I touch my toes and I fucking pull my leg up stretch and I yourself. stretch over yeah. Every day, that's difficult to do in the moment. Like, oh, shit, I'm a little tight now. But if you do it every day. You keep that muscle loose. Yeah. Now, when you're 60 years old, you're fucking limber and fucking ready yeah, to go. Yeah, when everybody else is hunkered down. Yeah, and everybody loves all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're standing up straight. You're looking to run around the block. Doing yeah. All kind of good shit. So be strategic about what you're doing day to day, I would say. Well, know what you're wanting, know what you're trying to get out of life. If you're doing something that's destructive every day of your life, eventually you're going to reap what you're putting into that. You reap what you sow. I mean, absolutely. Um, One of the things I wrote down is, um, you know, build in quality downtime into your life. Now, I know that's kind of weird for me to say right now during like the 
quarantine still kind of going on, like coronavirus, but you need to build in downtime. Yeah. Because if you're always go, 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 if you're always making sure your kids are taken care of and your man's straight or your wife's okay or this person's okay and then that person's okay, but you're not making enough time for you to sit the fuck down. Yeah, you're going to end up dried up. You're going to be burnt out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If God rested on the seventh day, if the deity could do it, I'm pretty sure you can take. Take your moment. Take your moment, man. Just for like, ugh. Yeah, it and may I've feel to, a little weird, and I've had to learn that <laughs> myself too, man. Because I've always, you know, I've always felt like if I stayed busy, then you know everything's all right. But eventually, you do. You're like, fuck, man, I'm tired. You know, you're not giving yourself a chance to mentally or physically rest, or you know what I'm saying. You're not finding something new. You just pigeonhole yourself into a, a spot in life, and yeah. it all gets old at a certain point. Yeah, and now you've. You know, you're running, 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 but really, are you being productive or you're just doing motions because you're afraid to be still with your own thoughts Yes, for five seconds? Nah, that's true, too. You know what I'm saying? Be comfortable or work on it, at least. I mean, I'm, I'm saying this like I've got it all figured out because or, or or like I do. But honestly, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of soul. Uh, I'm it takes a lot of meditation. Think about like. What makes you happy? Is that make like it's? I'm still a, a growing, you know, saying yeah, a, all of us. Yeah, so yeah. I don't. I'm not saying I'm not preaching to you like I have it all figured out, but I'm imparting some knowledge nuggets. I feel like that's helped me along my way. Yeah, you know and saying? or if somebody, some people already feel like that. That helps, you know, helps them feel secure in how they're feeling. That you know what? Yeah, I do try to grow and learn every day, but there are times where I try to take me a moment and rest and chill and don't feel you don't have the world will make you feel guilty about that you know what yeah. i'm saying don't let the world yeah america's you know what so you're fucked doing. up that way dude yeah. like they look down on you for taking a day like i'm not the guy who's gonna i i take all my paid time off at work if i have the ability you've earned it i I'll take they give like jim rome has a i don't know if he still says it or not but he's have a great saying it's like you know i take a lot of vacation because they give me a lot of vacation. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While like, I'm here, I'm giving you 100. But when I get, you know, it's time for me to go chill, I'm, I'm going to go chill. chill. I've earned it. Yeah. Brittany has a really hard time about just sitting the fuck down. Like she, she, She's such a go-getter that she, she does have a hard time. But me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I've, so I've had a job. I think it's either ever since I was 12 or 14. But I've basically always have had a job. So I'm secure enough in my work ethic to take a fucking day. You know yeah, what I know saying? what my, I'm trying to give the people that I work for. You yeah, know. you know what I'm saying? So build in strategically. I feel like you need to build in time to just rest and recoup. Because if you're always pouring, 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 obviously there's going to end up no, yeah, yeah. empty. And now you're not good to nobody because you're sick. Yeah, immune system's yeah. all fucked up. You're tired. You're your stressed attitude. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cranky. Nobody wants to be around you. You're snapping at people. You're kicking the dog. You're mad because everything's fucking. You know what I'm saying? Why well, ain't had a fucking day off in two yeah. years? Well, take a day take off, motherfucker. Yeah, chill. Yeah, like I'm not. If I if I retire, you know what I'm saying? I get a gold watch. You're not going to get an extra gold watch because you have. Yeah, all your time off attendance. left. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This isn't fucking elementary yeah, school where yeah. you get a sticker for go- perfect attendance. Like well, He showed up every fucking day. Yeah, good for you. That just means the company got everything they could out of you. Yeah, chump. <laughs> you should have <laughs> taken some time and built something for yourself to where now, who knows, if you if you just spent your evenings, you know what I'm saying, yeah, working on something, something for yourself, you could have maybe quit your job 10 years well, earlier. That, and you'd have something to do now that you don't have yeah. a job. Yeah, yeah. Something to occupy your time that you want to do. Yeah, because the thing is, with constant change, everything's changing. You're not always going to be in your 20s where you got all your energy and you've got your yeah. whole future ahead of you. Eventually, you're going to raise your head up and be like, oh, shit, I'm 55 it's years old. all behind me. I, I got 10 more years of working. Like, fuck, like, I got to do something. Yeah, knowing that you can't fucking, you can't build up a $2 million dollar retirement. Yeah, at 55. unless you start robbing banks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which yeah. I don't, you know, don't do that. No, but, uh, don't do I'm that. just saying. No, uh, because with the stock market, you know, time, uh, compound interest, the sooner you start, the better it is. Yeah. But, I mean, 
again, and that's really a good point is, is compound interest. And if you haven't started investing yet or setting money aside for your retirement, do it. Do it now do it. because even if it's five dollars a day, don't drink that cup of coffee or eat, yeah, eat out I or mean, something like. Build your credit. Do whatever you can to make yourself financially stable, and and then put yourself in a position where you can grow. Yeah, that way, man. when you get to where you can't work no more, you got something. You know what I'm saying? You're not just at the government office or whatever, yeah, begging for something, man. Yeah, because they don't care about you. No, they've used you up. They all they yeah. don't. The government's I got mean, all they No, yeah, out they're not here for you. Believe that. No. So you need to be smart and read books and like expand your knowledge. One of the best books I ever read was The Millionaire Next Door. Um, and I don't know who the author author of it is, but I'll put it up. The Millionaire Next Door, really good about like what the actual people with money do. The actual people, the vast majority of self-made millionaires are immigrants. Yeah, they they don't drive flash. They have like an old pickup truck. Got regular plain clothes. Regular. They, you never will know that this person actually has about like ten million dollars in the bank because they don't need to flash it. No. What does it matter what you think about what I wear? But they're doing the daily things. They're embracing the change of every day and setting themselves up strategically to where And not only for themselves, good. like like you see these people in the grocery, I mean, these convenience stores, the whole family is working in that convenience store. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then they do that for 10 or however many years. And, you know, by the time you look up, you got two or three generations of people done worked in this damn thing, but why? What you don't see is that all of them have a fucking neighborhood to themselves. Yeah, and you know they what I'm all saying? they all have their own convenience store that they're running, yeah. and now all their money's theirs because you know what they can do good taxes. Uh, look at Excel spreadsheets. They know how to you know their inventory, their profit and loss. Like they they're they got in it. it, dude. They're in the business, um, and that's one of the things you know that I really. I wish our family was more entrepreneurial from the jump. Yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't, so we had to kind of fumble through it along, you know, saying on our own. Yeah. But I'm very. That's one thing. Um, I'm I'm really. Uh, it's like a, a good mark on uh, Jewish people. Like the Jewish tradition relies heavily on, you know, taking care of yourself. You know, yeah. saying taking care of your community, make sure everybody's fine. Well, it's just like um, Amish. Amish, know, people. Amish people, um, I, I and really I want black people to get get there. We're we're there, um, in a lot of ways, but because of how America has kind of fucked with black people for a long time, it's put up roadblocks. Because like, um, Black Wall Street, they did that, uh, and they built up the largest you know group of uh, black millionaires in American history. Then kind of like government came and kind of fucked everything up on that but but given half the chance black people are the same way any ethnic group you have yeah. to take care of yourself like koreatown uh chinatown little italy like you have all these enclaves of like people who are yeah. taking care of themselves um i know for us you know it's like our family you know what are we doing to make sure even though it may not be the broader biracial family but like what are you doing to make sure somebody like Buki's okay and make sure Josh is okay? Make sure, make sure yeah, I'm okay. You take care of us, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The kids are, we're teaching the kids, the kids something. Yep. That's the real thing thing with us, man, is that all these kids have are being able to see examples better than what we saw. Exactly. To where we're teaching them that you can do anything. You're not going to perfect every fucking thing you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you're trying, man, don't be mad at yourself. Yeah. And it's not going to happen overnight. No. That's the kind of the, no. the the trick of the devil right there is like get rich quick schemes and like oh I gotta I gotta need to hit now and you know what I'm saying I'm trying to live now baby you know <laughs> yeah you're gonna be upset just a little by little embracing that change and making the most out of each day the best you can and getting up and going to get it some days I wake up and I don't feel like I got it I just don't feel fucking motivated at all. No. Some days I wake up and I'm a world beater. I got this motherfucker. Yeah. It's just listen to yourself. But there's always got to be, I feel like for me anyway, there's always a baseline of getting shit done. I may not be hitting at high cylinders, but there's at least a baseline yeah, of still I'm getting, getting something, something fucking yeah. done. Still clocking in, still knocking out the baseline work. Where I think one of the great things for me is 
I like to listen to like motivation videos in the morning time. Yeah, that's kind of what been the hard up. thing for me for like not working, uh, not driving into work. I work from home, but like when I was driving into work, I would listen to like a sermon, or I would listen to like uh, Les Brown, or um, like all these self help motivational speakers. And by the time I get to work, you're like, yeah, I'm fucking, you know what I'm saying? Knocking it, it all, out, bro. crushing it, killing it. To where now I have to like make it a point to like, oh yeah, did I listen to my motivational? Yeah, and I don't but more you, than I do. But you but, listen to so much motivation that mm-hmm. just it, you know, that baseline of motivation is still better than most people. Yeah, get up and like, man, I don't want to do this shit. Yeah, well, I've always been afraid of being an ain't shit motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I've I've always had, and I'm not like I said, I'm not the most successful person at all. I'm not the most go getter, but like I know in my heart of hearts that I'm not a. Uh, ain't shit motherfucker you yeah. know what i'm saying i know that if i wanted to go buy something that if i had to go buy it i could go buy it yeah if it was truly needed if it was necessary. truly something i wanted I, it. I can go get it to where there's a lot of people who don't have that no. whether from their fault or their their situation. or somebody else's situation you know what I'm, saying? I'm not saying i'm not sitting here to judge you know saying one person or the other but like if you're being lazy all day on a consistent basis, don't be surprised when something happens and you can't take care of it. Yeah, you don't have nothing <laughs> to help yourself out with. You've put nothing into the well, so yeah, well, yeah. If you're sitting around being lazy and ain't doing shit all day, you know, it's got a price of its own. It's got a price. Yeah, you're doing the opposite of doing the emotionally difficult thing. You're doing the easy thing. <laughs> yeah, and there's going to be a price to be paid. There's for a that price too. to pay. Whether it's diabetes or heart disease or fucking big ass, a big ass, an a, a empty bank account, broke down couch, yeah, it, something so. <laughs> broke down couch, <laughs> I mean, fucking help. Is <laughs> that a big fucking spot ward in the bed? Was well, that a Pee Wee's Playhouse, the fucking chair that talks? Yeah, get the fuck off <laughs> get me, the bitch. Fuck off. Why don't you get up? Ain't it time to clock in? <laughs> like, we'll go to work go today. Uh, we call it yeah. Cherry. So you gotta beat Cherry. <laughs> That's a good show, man. That was a great show. That's a good show. Off. I need to go back and watch that show. I feel like it's probably had like a lot of weird stuff in it that I didn't understand as a kid. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh man, like that's fucked up. Damn beating off in a quarter. Dude, I watched this um this thing this morning. It was about like the Scooby Doo movie, which I never actually watched the Scooby Doo movie. But apparently it has a lot of like adult innuendos in that movie. Oh, I don't doubt it. Have you ever seen it? No. Uh, well, it was like one where like uh, Scooby and like the stoner kid, they're like baking out in the van. Yeah, that's why they always hold the snacks. Yeah. That's why like, Shaggy always sounds the way he does. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Shaggy, yeah. Uh, he's always stoned. Like Velma in the beginning of the movie, she has like a turtleneck. By the end of the movie, she's got fucking her tits popped out and like a skirt <laughs> on, leather hoe boots. Like this yeah, movie yeah, really yeah. isn't for kids. Like, well, that's like the first this. few seasons of SpongeBob. If you actually go through that and listen to it, man, it's there's a lot of shit that goes over the kids' heads. <laughs> but if you're an adult, you're like, man, I know what the fuck. I yeah, know. like Jesus, <laughs> this yeah, is that's what the children are watching. Yeah, it's like um, Shrek. Shrek has a lot of like adult humor yeah. that like, oh look, it's a little family CG movie. Like, ah, damn, they just say that. Mm, yeah, that's like, not what the fuck. What kind of family <laughs> are you raising there? Anyway, that's it. Inside bar. There. Yeah, inside bar. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, but basically, there, it's okay, like, plan in and build in time to, to rest and chill out if you are always working. Whereas if you're always doing nothing, then... You need to get to work. You need to get to fucking work because... Yeah, that, we said balance. Yeah, balance in all things, you know. <laughs> you're just sitting around doing nothing. Then. There's going to be a time where you're going to be pushed to the other end and you're either physically, mentally, financially, however, you're not going to be prepared to get at it. Yeah, and I think really one of the things is, you know, take that self-inventory of honestly sit back and maybe yeah, get somebody else, or maybe, you know, think about it for yourself of, like, where can I do better? What are my weaknesses? Do a SWOT analysis, basically. There is basically. nothing wrong with having weaknesses. Yeah. That just shows you where you have the potential for the most growth. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. nothing wrong But the wrong trick with is taking an honest look. And don't be caught up in the good old days, you know, saying I want to do, I want to go back to the fucking leave it to beaver type of shit. Because, honestly... When were the good old days, you know, saying when 
Was it good old days when we didn't have air conditioning? Yeah. Or was it when everybody was dying from polio? Or is it fucking for Jim Crow when you couldn't vote? Like you had to get in the back of the bus? Like, Well, I mean, think about it. You take a food to keep it cold and you buried it in an icebox in the ground out in the yard or some shit like that. Yeah. There, there's everything comes with its own. Yeah, every every season, every every era of life has its fucking struggles. And it has its great points. And it has too. its great points too. Yeah, sure. There's cleaner air and the ice caps were around in the fifties. But there's a lot of other worse shit that was going on. Life was a lot simpler back in the fifties. But at the same time, you can get a lot more shit done now. You can get a lot more you know shit what I'm saying, done now, man. man. You went what, once a year or whatever, however they came, you get twelve encyclopedias, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. man, that's our learning for the now you can get that shit. You get that much information in the morning time with your cup of coffee. You know what I'm you saying? You had the whole world's collected knowledge in your pocket. Yeah, all you gotta do is click on the phone, Google it. look it up. Google it. Like that's why I don't really like I'm not gonna say I get frustrated, but like if you don't know something just Google it. Like, if you if you You'll don't at least know. find a rabbit hole to <laughs> take you down to where you get a lot closer than you were. If yeah. you're just like, eh, I don't know. Think about the person who was born in the 1300s during the Crusades or some shit, whenever that was, and they didn't even where they weren't even allowed to read. The only book they they that came around was the Bible, and then not everybody even had a chance to read that. To now, where you have, I think I heard something kind of in the same vein. I'm gonna step off that, but. It's better to be the the average worker now lives better than a millionaire in 1900. Oh, I'm sure. If you were Rockefeller, JD Rockefeller, you still the average no air conditioning. You still did, you know. Yeah, you if you ever had a toothache, you still you, had to go through it. Yeah. Whereas now, there's better medicine. There's more comfort. Like your car has cameras, you got yeah. heated seats. Like yeah, well, you still had to hop on the fucking horse or whatever. Yeah, your co- the carriage or something. It's not heated. You're fucking freezing nuts. <laughs> Honestly, the the median middle class right now lives better than a multimillionaire in 1900. Yeah, that's that's perfect. I mean, I can see that. I can see <laughs> so that. Don't people might not granted. feel like that. Yeah, but that is the truth. I mean, just be thankful for what you have. Like, yeah, it's rough, but. How can you maneuver your life to make it better? Because honestly, it can be fucking worse. God, yeah, it can. It can be worse. And so. if you don't believe that, God can show you at times to where it makes you very thankful for what you do have. Because if he takes A, B, and C away from you, you're standing out there like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, you're, you're Job. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, man. oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> curse your God and die. Yeah, and curse I, God and die. Yeah, I'm not going to no, curse him. No, not me. No, no. I'll, I'll get back to where I was. Yeah, Just be but faithful. my thing is, like, for me personally, I've been down and out. I've had my back against the wall. Yeah. I've had to lean on the kindness of strangers. I've had to, you know what I'm saying, go without food. I've had to... Go without the fancy things. Go without so. the fancy things. I've... I, I can very easily live very simply if I need to. Yeah. That's kind of the good thing about being poor, growing up poor, right? So, like, you can, you know how it is. You so never miss what you didn't have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I didn't have a go-kart track in the backyard. So, the fact that I don't have one now, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's fine. But it also, on the flip side, you appreciate it when you do have nice things. Yeah, and if I'm willing to work to put the go-kart track out there in the backyard, Fucking enjoy I'm going to enjoy that moment. Yeah, enjoy it. Um, so we're at 30 minutes. I think that was a really good episode. Really, the, the basis of this was like I say, just embrace change because yeah. it's gonna happen anyway. Don't always be so uh, don't be in sour a hurry about it to go back to the good old days because if you think about it, there was something fucked up then, too. Like, just, yeah, it's all gonna have its ups and downs, ups goods and bads. downs. Look, just make the best of what you have. Take a inventory of what you have and make the best of it because it can be worse. But the good news is, is can it can be, be better too. Always, it's gonna and have faith that the person you're gonna be in the future is gonna be better. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be fine. Like everything's gonna. Don't get so wrapped up in the now. In the well, I was gonna say in like the future or the past. Like if you live in the now. You know, living in anxiety is living in the future. Depression is living in the past. But if you're living in the right now, then that's where the Buddha comes in. Well, that's the only place you have, you can affect is right now. That's the only place you can affect. So what are you doing right now? 
And if right now ain't where you want it to be, know that there's Tweak change it. coming down the road. Tweak and it. whatever you have control of, yeah, do it. So all these things taken holistically, I think, will get you to where you want to be and have a better outlook on life and just be happier in general. I know it's worked for me, man. I know like, it's worked for me. Yeah, so with that being said, look, this is a great episode, Lee. I can't yeah. wait to have Buki back. You know what I'm saying? I think this will be the last one yeah, before Buki comes back. Yeah, I think back. he's coming. Yeah, so I look forward to seeing that old knothead Negro again. <laughs> but uh, I love you guys. Look, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell for notifications. Tell your friends. Please, please. Uh, leave in the comments, you know what I'm saying? If you like this episode, tell us why. If you didn't, tell us why you didn't. But you should have, so just keep it positive. Yeah, that's a thing on you. <laughs> but as always, guys, do what? Be mixed. Bye.